So the time has come for the new fall premieres of some of our favorite shows. And um, one coming up is Dallas. And I have created, in celebration of this occasion, a look that takes some of the new Dallas and some of the old 80s Dallas and smushes them together in a Dallas sandwich and creates one lovely look. So let's get started. I was lassoing. The first thing we're gonna tackle is hair. And for hair, I'm gonna go old school. I found this beautiful picture of Victoria Principal and she has like this like half slicked back deal going on and tons of volume and waves. And so we're gonna have to do something about this because this is kind of the opposite of that deal. So I'm gonna start off right out the gate by trying to add a little volume with some dry shampoo and just really hitting up my roots. So then to get those big, beautiful, Dallas-worthy 80s waves, I'm going to use something a little old school as well, and that are hot rollers. Okay, this homie is not wanting to stay. Now I'm gonna give it a few minutes and let these bad boys cool down and then we'll do the rest. Okay, we're all cooled down so now we can take all these pups out and see what's happening. It's looking a little honey boo boo and a wiglet right now, but don't worry. We're gonna brush it out and we're gonna get it all big and bouncy. Now we've gotta get that one-sided pulled back deal going on. Grab some bobby pins and just slick it back with a comb. And now it wouldn't be 80s Dallas hair without a healthy dose of hairspray. <coughs> For the eyes, I'm gonna switch to current day Dallas and I'm gonna replicate the look of Jordana Brewster's character. She really kind of has simple makeup usually with a little bit of black eyeliner and like just a very bold brow. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of like a medium brown from the lash line up to the crease. And now I'm just kind of feathering it up towards the eyebrow. For liner, definitely has to be black. I'm gonna start by lining the top lid. Now on the bottom, I'm not gonna go all the way over. I'm just gonna go about halfway, then I'm gonna use a brush to kind of smudge it over a little bit. And mascara time. Uh-oh. And she has this that beautiful dark hair and really great eyebrows. And they're kind of like a straighter shape. Um, so I'm gonna fill in with some brow pomade in dark brown um, and just kind of try to get that same look. Okay, done with that. To finish off, I'm gonna flip back to the old school. All the pictures that I found online of the 80s Dallas ladies had some nice color to the lips, but a little shine. And because it was the 80s, there was probably some frost going on, but I'm not really ready to deal with that yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by lining my lips, and I'm going to use a long-wearing lipstick, like this Maybelline 14-hour lipstick in Eternal Rose. So it's gonna have like a nice bit of color, and then I'm gonna end up using a little bit of gloss to kind of kick up the shine. All right, that's it. We're finished with our Dallas 80s slash current time, old school, new school. Put it in a blender and twist it all up and um, come with this. I feel like it looks a little retro, right? What do you guys think? Let me know. If you wanna see more pop culture inspired makeup looks, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time. I wish I had a cowboy hat or something. <laughs>